I said action! Just put your mind to it and then you can do it. I'm the most talented and the most crazy. Chasing fame and fortune and still at school. Who has been helping you practice? No one. He's not one of the Beckhams, he's mine. Busy Kids is one of the UK's largest child talent agencies, run by No Nonsense boss, Debbie Clark. Cute as anything, but I just don't think she's ready. No. Tots. Eat the cake. Teens. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. And some of the powerhouse parents behind them. I have no idea where he forgets it from. Remember to make sure that you smash it, OK? Bye, go do some work. Pretend to be interested in what they're saying. The agency guides them through every stage of their journey. I want to thank the Academy for giving me this wonderful award. You have got me here tonight. No way. Oh, Nella got the job. <laughs> but the road to stardom can be a rocky one. She's still got the right hump, but the show must go on. It's complete bedlam. No! I need 100% more energy. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you, but you might not get the job. That's life. For the lucky few, dreams do come true. Oh, my God, that's me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm so famous. What's the number one word? With childhood stardom and ever-growing business, it's another demanding day for the talented tots at the agency. I've been in this business for over 25 years. That's cool. My daughter was a child model, so I've been an agent and a parent, so I understand both sides of the industry. In recent years, Debbie has noticed a change in the business, as clients ask for more real-life models to fill their roles. The industry's moved on. Going away from 70s and the 80s, where everything was all so picture perfect, clients are looking for more diversity. I love Alison. 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 Quirky kids with personalities, real families. We have a diverse society, and so agencies are reflecting that. They need to, and so are, so are the brands. Everyone's got their individual talent, don't they? Everyone's good at something. Yeah. My biggest talent is weeding, because I love to weed. I'm special because I have different personality. It's hard being the most talented one because I think they all want to be me, but they just can't, because they're just not at my level yet. Is your tummy still rambling? Yeah. Today at the agency, Debbie is meeting with one of her newest faces, 10-year-old Mia. She likes having her hair and makeup done. Yeah, okay. yeah I look posh. Look posh. I've known Mia for years. Her sister used to come in to have her photos taken, mm. and it was it was really obvious then that Mia wanted to get, you know, in front of the camera. Just a little bit of colour. I just saw something in her, you know? She's got such a lovely little character. She's funny as anything. I want you to do your own poses first, and then I'm going to see if you can do my poses that I tell you. Mia wants to be a hairdresser. She wants to be a boxer. She wants to play football. She wants to do gymnastics. Cool. So, at the moment, she wants to be a top model. Oh, get you posing. How did she get into modelling? Hmm. I love selfies. If I could get clients to use all types of children and not doing the token yeah. photo shoot with kids with disabilities, it'd be a hell of a breakthrough. Yeah. OK, tell me, who has been helping you practice? No one. You yeah. like these ones? People who say it's a tough industry and kids with disabilities should not be modelling, you cannot force a child like Mia to do something she does not want to do. Yeah. And with Mia, she wants to model, it's clear. Anything she puts her mind to, she wants to do, she will go and she will learn it. I got this. I went first. <gasps> Great. Mia is the youngest of five sisters. Look at the camera, big smile. Oh, yes, she's the centre of the family. 
but Mia is a very cheeky, mischievous little girl. Yeah, be good. <sighs> when I get home from work and I see her smiling at me, it's like a, a medicine. She's like a medicine to me. When she was born, managed to get first cuddle, and then the uh, doctors took her away from me. Big smile. We found out that uh, Mia had Down syndrome. <laughs> the doc said that her heart wasn't no good. Her lifespan wouldn't be that much. Are you strong? Yeah. Get my muscles. The paediatrician told me we didn't have to take Mia home with us. Which I just thought, well, how can you say that? She's my baby, of course I'm taking her home with me. I, didn't, I felt that she wasn't going to be treated any differently to my other four daughters just because she's got Down syndrome. I like that one. You like that one? <laughs> Why do you like that one? It's funny. It's funny. We've basically let her decide for herself since a very small age to do what she wants, just letting her be free. Do you think we make a good model? Why's that? Um. It's pretty. Who's pretty? Me. Look at that shot. Isn't she lovely? I'd crack him. I'm not making reference to nothing. New face on our books. Um, have you got anything in? You know, she's beautiful. She just needs that chance. And I'm going to hopefully give her that chance. Whilst Debbie hopes for more inclusive modelling jobs, she's also noticed clients favouring real families for big campaigns. There's one family in Kent who know all about the business. These were taken six years ago then. Modelling is second nature for the Spellmans. It looks so different. <laughs> 13-year-old Zach and younger sister Abby have been on Busy Kids books for four years. Nice! They're just my kids. They're beautiful to me, regardless of whether or not they're in modelling. They're pretty damn cute, though. <laughs> Aren't you? Is he going to go into modelling, too? Potentially. I did Jack Whitehall DVD, Chevrolet car commercial. I did the Enid music video. Yeah, there I am. My favourite job would have to be the guys who choose to listen to her head music video. Coming up to my screen. Oh, this is her big screen. Bang! I had to act like I was being kidnapped. So we've had problems from parents. They said it was far too violent and what on earth was I thinking letting her do that? All she saw was laying on the ground looking at clouds and I had to scream into the camera. She had a whale of a time. It was just jealousy. People do say that anyone can do modelling, but I think it's built for the people that don't care what other people think. And I think my sister's very good at that. People say stuff and she don't. She doesn't care, and that's why I think we're a bit different. And I take things a bit more to heart. Despite his success, Zach quit modelling two years ago. I go to an all-boys school, and when I first joined, I was very, very open about modelling. And it was met with criticism, definitely. Everything that I was proud of, it suddenly made me feel a bit like, oh, should I be proud about that? I don't know, people didn't understand it and they just weren't very nice about it and stuff. I can understand why he's given up, but a little bit of me would say, Joe, you know, you're so good at it, you know, just, just keep going. So he's effectively retired at the moment. I don't think I will go back eventually, but... There's a butt. Did everyone hear the butt? <laughs> Probably won't go back, but I never know. I'm going to be so good. I'm going to rock from dead. Another young man on Debbie's books is eight-year-old Jack. He has definite plans to hit the big time. You're a little star anyway. You'll be fine. I'm not a star. I'm a superstar. Jack and single mum Tracy are inseparable. My mummy's kind of like my manager, so she's always like running around, so that doesn't really make her happy, but it's good, it's good exercise for her, but she doesn't really like it. Great! Today, they're hoping to impress at the agency. Cheeky. He's talented, he's confident. His face came to life when he put his tap shoes on. 
when I'm older, I would like to be a tapper. And if not, maybe a superhero. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Showtime. Jack and Tracy mastermind his route to stardom from their Surrey home. Point your toes. Why do you want to be in show business? You get to performing, it's great. I think I might know. Why? Is it because everybody's looking at you? Yeah. In a nice way. Not like a selfish way. No. Whilst Jack may be full of confidence when he's performing, this isn't the case in all parts of his life. From about one, I realised he wasn't babbling. When he was two, he still couldn't talk. Jack has been diagnosed with speech-language difficulties. It's the wrong way, Mummy. Dyspraxia is pretty much confirmed that he has autism and ADHD. Thank you, Jack. I think autism. I'm not sure. It's hard word, autism. Oh, what have we done? <laughs> it means a disability and... Was that a bird? <laughs> <laughs> See if we can have a go at this one. We had problems at school with friendships because children couldn't understand what he was saying. Watching my child so unhappy, I realised the only solution was to take him out of school. What's four times nine? Jack left mainstream school a year ago and Tracy now teaches him full time. We try to make it as fun as possible and practical as possible. <laughs> Jack doesn't really like um, paper and pen very much. If you say, put your dancing shoes on, he's yeah. five. Started off with just a bit of ballet at school, and he took up tap. And he just loved tap. He was, like, addicted to tap. When my tap dance, it feels so good. So exciting, it's so loud. Very, very clear that he's very withdrawn in a classroom situation. Jack shines when he's doing stage. Tracy feels that Jack could flourish at stage school. He's desperate to go to stage school. And with competition fierce for places, Jack must work hard to pass crucial exams this summer. Going to stage school, he knows he stands a much better chance in West End auditions. The four girls here. Going to stage school, the best thing it'd be good about it is everybody would be like me, or at least one person. When you've got a thousand talented children and they've got ten places to get in one school, that's tough competition. Today, Debbie and Dawn have been asked to cast a family for an unforgettable job. Have you had any videos in for Family Traveller? In recent years, advertisers have begun to hire real families rather than actors or models. I think they're realising that with a real family, you know, they know each other, they bond well together, they work well together. International tour operator Club Med and holiday magazine Family Traveller are looking for the perfect family for a shoot in the Caribbean. God, the competition for this is going to be pretty fierce. Families have been asked to pitch themselves on film about what makes them special. You should not just choose our family. You must! They should pick us because we have really good manners and we, and we never pick our plates when we're eating at the dinner table. <laughs> a lucky handful will be invited to attend a casting in London. They look magazine -y. All of them tick the box. I don't know, you know, in this day and age, who, who can point a finger and say, well, that's a perfect family, that's the normal setup? It'd be interesting to see what the client actually goes for in the end. How about if I go there to do a recce, so I get a proper feel for it, and then come back and report but to you? Middle to upper class, just don't open your mouth, you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> With the applications rolling in, there's one family Debbie thinks could be serious contenders the Spellmans. In order to put them forward, she'll have to convince elder son Zach to return to modelling. Zach was with us a few years ago and he left. I think his confidence took a little bit of a... I don't know, but I'm not entirely sure what went on there. I wouldn't normally do this kind of thing, but this boy's a little bit special. It'd be nice to see him do well. 
Hi. Hiya. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> I want to know if you'd be interested. You haven't got to answer now because it's got to be for the right reasons. Yeah. Okay. But I'd love to have you back on the books. I really, really, really would. But I want you to have a think about this, okay? Yeah. I know he wants to do it. I know, like, you just need to get that confidence back in himself. I think that's what, what? the only thing that's stopping me coming back. What? Is confidence. It's a difficult age being a teenager in this business, especially for boys. Modelling is usually identified with girls. I would not want to push you into doing something you weren't comfortable doing. I really wouldn't. But I truly, I would not be here if I didn't truly think you would be good at it. There's people better than me because I've been to jobs and other people have got jobs. No, that doesn't mean they're better. Rejection is a big part of this industry because there are thousands of children, hundreds of agencies and only so many jobs. How about... We've organised something for you at the studio. I'll do your photos. You fancy that? Yeah. Are you interested? You up for it? Uh, yeah. I'll come along, have my pictures taken, then we'll go from there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst Zach ponders a return to modelling, Debbie has got Mia her first ever casting. It's for Girl Talk. Come on, doors opened. The UK's biggest selling preteen magazine. No, big smiles. That's a funny smile. Up against seven other girls, Mia will have to work hard to impress. Yeah, thank you. Right, kiss, kiss. Good luck. What do you want to be when you grow up? Model. A model. What is it about modelling you enjoy? Pose. Mia, could you imagine that being a bit bossy and telling us what to do? Oh, well, that's <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> Thought you might be able to. Really good. How did it go today? Good. I've not been in this situation, so hopefully she gets it. I'll be able to move. Well pleased for her. My favourite model pose would be... So, one there, one there. And you lean forward, like, sort of tilted, and you do that. I normally... Lie on the bed and just do this. And what's your favourite pose? One, two, three. At the agency, Zach is taking his first steps back into modelling. Keep looking at me. With his first photo shoot in two years. Nice, OK. Even if he decides not to do it again, hopefully, you can see someone's got faith in him, might have, help him have a bit more faith in himself. <laughs> Head round to me. I'm not going to go back into the industry immediately and be all, oh, I love it, why did he ever quit? Because I definitely know why I quit, but I think I need to learn to accept that. Now I need you to do a backflip, please. <laughs> OK. <laughs> that's that's a bit far. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, a bit too far. <laughs> right. And get to love yourself on camera. Stop being so critical. See you later. All right. See you later. Take care. It's clear that Zach has impressed and Debbie has made a decision. How about that? Family traveller job, you know, with uh, Zach. I think with the family, you, do you know what I mean? A bit of comfort in numbers. So it might be a good way to kind of ease him back in. Yeah, with them all supporting each yeah. other, yeah. Along with the Spellmans, two of the families from the agency are competing for the job. The Palmers from Cambridgeshire. Do you think that's a model family? Yeah. Look at them. <laughs> and the Blackmans from London. Let's just talk about me now. <laughs> no, we're not talking about you now. Both are veteran model families with nationwide campaigns under their belt, so competition for the job will be tough. That's me and Evie and Dexter. I did get ribbed about on a stag weekend recently because we actually stopped at the Hilton Hotel and so that was the butt of the jokes for the Saturday night. When you tell them that you get paid for it, that sort of stops them laughing a little bit. Gracie's blurred, but that is Gracie there. Why is Gracie blurred? Because oh, they wanted to focus on the turkey, I think, rather than Gracie. <laughs> Despite the Palmer's success, the Blackmans have a secret weapon in pint-sized prodigy, Amar. Just to say sorry, oh, I'm looking you again. Back up. We need to back up. He kind of stole it a little bit, didn't he? He did kind of steal it. <laughs> oh, honestly. It's not fair, because Amar 
always gets everything because he's the cute one and apparently he's cute, but I can't see it. <laughs> Amar is the latest in a long line of talented family members. It's filtered its way through over the last three generations. One of my uncles did a Rice Krispies advert. Apparently, according to my grandma, she came up with a catchphrase, snap, crackle and pop. I'm sorry, but I'm going to take that with a pinch of salt. But she will tell you now, it was her idea to say snap. She can't even remember what it is. They were wondering what could they use, you know, for this advertisement. And I come up with crack, crickly, pop. It was it, yes. Yes, snack, snack, crackly and pop. Thank you, sure is. All right, Grandma, just humour her. Would you get quite competitive with food? So oh, yeah. does. <laughs> it's really funny seeing the adverts on the telly that your kids have gone for, and it's just like, oh, Dexter could have done that. <laughs> It is very competitive. The casting, you can sort of sense a, a rivalry and the eyes are mm -hmm. looking daggers at you around the room enough to say, well, she's not going to get it. She might. She's a good-looking <laughs> kid. You excited to go on audition for this holiday? Today's casting will be Zach's introduction back into the industry and the anticipation is building. I'm looking forward to auditioning. Mm. I am quite nervous, though. <laughs> but I think everyone's nervous. Everyone yeah. gets nervous for a casting, I just think. Take the box, remember? No. The box. What's the box? Oh, when on my first audition, when Mum took me, I was really nervous. And um, Mum had this box and it was full of confidence. And it actually really helped <laughs> that me. That sounds like the cringiest I thing. I know, I've but ever it heard. actually really helped me. And I used to open the box and go, and then it'd be all I don't think I'm going to be sprinkling magic little bits of confidence on me, but I'll try and I'll smile. But... <laughs> I don't think he's really confident with it, but then I think that it'd bring his confidence back. It's definitely lovely to have my first proper casting back with my family because we stick together, we're as a family and we're a team. It's nice to see him get back up dust himself down and actually do something that he wants to do and what he enjoyed doing and potentially can earn a bit of money out of it. I'm nervous, but I, I'm still excited. feel like I've got something to prove. From over 50 applications, Debbie selected her top five families to attend the casting for the prestigious Caribbean job. So let's pretend. What do you want to do on holiday, Dan? And with so much at stake, yeah. everyone is bringing their A game. Oh, well, should we stand? Yes. It's been two years since my last casting. I'm trying to get used to the atmosphere again, but it's exciting to be back into it. Here, I'm excited. Hello, everybody. So my name's Andrew Dent, publisher of Family Traveller. I'm Estelle, I'm managing director for Club Med in the UK. And we're here today to cast a family, basically going to be travelling on a £8,000 family holiday in quite an incredible island in the Caribbean. You're going to write for the magazine, and then we're going to do a bunch of video. Hundreds of thousands of people watching your videos and reading your article. We're looking for a family that's outgoing, will participate in all of the activities. Who better to sell a family holiday than a real family? I am very, very competitive. I've just listened to the guy describe the holiday and I was just getting more and more competitive by the minute. Zach is not the only one. As a family, we are very competitive. However, one family is missing. Andrew Dent. Really sorry to have to do this, but unfortunately the Palmer family can't make the casting today. The Palmer family? Oh, no way, they were one of our favourites. The youngest one has taken a fall. Are they OK? I'd definitely like to see the Palmer family somehow. While the agency tried to find a way to keep the Palmers in the running, the casting must go on. You ready? Yep. It's down to you guys to put your personalities in it now and show these people that they want to go on the holiday with you. Each family takes it in turn to showcase their talents. Oh, wow. We got dance, we got talk. Next. 
Cheers. Can anyone write? When I'm older, I would actually maybe like to go into journalism. You better give me your card. Thank you. Thank you. I was very impressed by the holder's son. Slick. Cheers. Do you guys like have fun after dinner? We go to club and I need to keep my eye open because he like to look around the pretty <laughs> girls and I have to teach him. Aloha. Oh, hello. Oh. So who's the model? Someone tells me. I can look Oh, wow. <laughs> Come on, do me a catwalk. Wow. They're professional. I would go that far. It's cute. Come on, my little squeegee. It's been a long day, hasn't it? I think it went quite well. Now, all the family seemed quite nice. I'm happy for you. Yeah, it is, mama. really. Amma, please stop that. That's what oh. she's saying on camera. Yes, <laughs> that's Come on, let's go. As the families head home. This is Dexter, he's three, and he comes across as being shy, but once he gets to know. Andrew and Estelle have managed to contact the Palmers. Have you done any work modelling as a family? <laughs> Everyone must wait for the clients to make their decision. In an audition, if you make a mistake, you don't get that many chances. I just can't wait to find out and to, if I got it or not. She gets like, <laughs> really competitive with me. I'm like, Mum, just stop. You're not doing this audition, I am. I gave you a shot. I tried my best. So, and I met some new friends on the way. So, that's having fun, isn't it? It's the middle of exams for eight-year-old Jack. And if he does well, it will get him one step closer to his dream. Oh, yes, I do work very hard. A lot harder than everybody else. It means an even more hectic schedule than usual for Jack and Mum Tracy. Don't forget to smile. And today is disco. Because of his ADHD and his autism, some people say to me, oh, he's doing too much, he's doing too much. What's mummy doing to you? <laughs> you do what's right for your child, and for my child, that is right. The doctors are actually very surprised on Jack's progress with dancing because of his learning disabilities. Also, he, he has difficulties with hand-eye coordination, but dancing, it's literally transformed Jack. It's the last day of exams. Focus, keep that tummy in. And Tracy is hopeful Jack's hard work will pay off. If he gets a good grade, it's definitely going to help him get into stage school. Yay! Hi, <laughs> Sam. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You're amazing. <laughs> With the exams over, Tracy and Jack have time for a little celebration. Thank you again, Daddy. But they must wait for the results to see if they've done enough. The next step, definitely, to get an audition for stage school. So we're just hoping that we get a letter or a phone call to say your child has met the criteria and able to audition for this school. Cheers, Jack. Me and my mummy are a team, but I am the team captain. Because I'm sassy and I'm, I'm done fantastic. While Jack and Tracy hope for that all important call, yeah. Mia has just heard some good news from Debbie and the agency. Are you going to tell Mum? Hi, Debbie. Hiya. I got a job. You got a job? <laughs> Did you? What does that mean? It means I've got to be in magazine. Well done. <laughs> How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous? You're not nervous. Yeah. Mia's initial excitement for her first ever modelling job has turned into something else. Does it feel funny in your tummy? Yeah. You ready, Dad? Yep. Come on then. Off we go. Once on set, Mia's nerves are settled by experienced model Francesca. 
All they're literally going to do is, is put you in an outfit and then you just have to be yourself and kind of smile and pose and just really do whatever you like. Just be yourself. What's your favourite way to have your hair? Do you like it up in a ponytail? Do you like it down? Down. OK. She can go through ten different outfits a day, just keep changing and changing and changing. When I see her in the right mad outfit that she's chosen, like socks and sandals and uh, knee-length trousers and a totally bright colour, I will actually take her up the shop. It looks really sweet. And the older girls are go right into one. You can't take her out like that. But I do, because she wants to go out like that. She's happy to wear it, so why not? <laughs> OK, ladies, here we go. Uh, woo! <laughs> you take everything for granted when you first have a child, but when they said she's actually got Down syndrome, it, it didn't mean anything. Lovely. <laughs> she was still my, my uh, baby. Woo. Doctor said that she'd end up physically and mentally disabled for the rest of her life, that she was going to be a burden. Mia, what if you try and get a bite of Francesca's ice cream? <gasps> <laughs> and I just think how wrong that doctor was. And I think of him every time she reaches a goal. I say, up yours. <laughs> She's done everything the other girls have done, and she's done everything that the photographers told her to do, so... It's not just me as parents who are proud of her today. She's doing all her poses, every, yeah. everything that you ask. Yes, yeah, she was taking direction. Mm. Uh, looking over at me. We wanted to show that beauty comes in lots of lots of different shapes and sizes, and that it's yeah. confidence and the way that you feel on the inside, actually, that... that makes children beautiful. Excellent stuff. How are your nerves doing? Good. I'm happy now, not nervous. We are having fun? She did, she really did well very well for her first modelling job. Yeah. I'm really happy you did this job. Yep. Was it fun? Yep. Would you like to do it again? Yep. It's been several weeks since Jack's exams and he's passed with flying colours. Oh, look, there it is. But Tracy and Jack have had even more exciting news. They're in London for an important audition. Make sure your timing's right and you make all your moves nice and sharp. Jack will be competing for a place at the world-famous Pineapple Dance Studios Performing Arts School. I can just imagine there's a big pineapple in it. Oh, I don't think there will actually be a pineapple in the studio. Look at that! Jack will be trying to impress Maggie, who runs the school, and Anna, whose charity is sponsoring a part-time scholarship for children on the autism spectrum. Hello, Hello Maggie. Hi. Can you give us a Yes. Nice to meet you, Jack. How are you doing? Fine, thank Welcome you. Welcome to Pineapple. And I'm Anna. Pleased to meet you, Jack. Hello. With all the jobs that the kids have done, they've been in Matilda, Carousel, I love Film Matilda. Do you love Matilda? Yeah, we've had a few of our students in Matilda. If Jack wins a place, it will mean working alongside some of the biggest choreographers in the country and the chance to perform on a West End stage. Oh, wow. He's desperate to go to stage school. He wants it so bad. So I just pray that he does his best and he gets in. In London's West End, Jack is auditioning for a scholarship at a top performing arts school. I don't want you to be nervous, OK? Yeah. Beyonce, Madonna and One Direction have all rehearsed here. And today, it's Jack's turn. For an audition, I meditate and I stay calm. I'm always positive. So we're going to be auditioning you, Jack, today. Anna here has set up a scholarship programme for anybody that's on the autism spectrum. All right, so do you need to do anything to prepare? I'll do a little warm up. That's it. I would love to go to stage school because we can do so much performing arts. It's so fun. 
In order to get a place, Jack must impress. Lindsay Ratch makes me jump! In drama, music, and dance. Before a decision is made by Maggie and Anna. He needs to be able to be in a room with 18 to 20 other children. There's a lot of fierce kids at the school. Having said that, as far as I can see, he's got a great little personality. If he didn't get in, I would be upset for him. He wants it so bad. What, what do you think for this? I just think it would be amazing because you're a role model for um, children. They might watch you as well and think, I might like to try that. I might like to try singing, dancing, playing the piano. Can I say congratulations to you? Yeah. So I got in. You did, yes. So I got in. So I'll go to school on Sunday. That's yeah. right. It's starting in September. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Well done. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Good boy. Well done. Lovely. <laughs> Training at Pineapple at the age of eight <laughs> and a scholarship. Going to be amazing. Bye. In less than a fortnight, Jack will enrol for his first term in the hope it could be the start of something big. I would love to be on TV, and I've always wanted to be on TV. Like, if I'm just walking down the Queen's Road or Loughton, then, like, boom, 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 my face. <laughs> Basically, I am a star, because I do lots of famous adverts. But I don't want to be too famous, and there's one reason. Because I'll, because I'd need bodyguards, assistants, and the whole team, and that would change my whole life. It's been two weeks since the casting for the job in the Caribbean, and while the Spellmans wait to hear if they've been successful, Mum Kirsty is already feeling positive about the impact on Zach. I love the fact that he's back, because. He was, he was great at it. I think he's ready. He carried mum and dad through it, so I'm very proud of him at that cast, and he did exceptionally well. I think it could be the start of something new. Today, the lucky family will find out if they've got the gig. <laughs> Only one can win. Do you remember that Traveller casting we did for the trip to yes. Dominican? Yes. Well, we're going to find out in about half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. If the phone rings, pick it up. We We've got the job, because they said, if we don't hear, you haven't got it, you're unsuccessful. <sighs> Let's go to the living room to wait for the final countdown. Start counting down in your head. In your head. One, two, three, four. That's not in your head. Oh, God, come on. 59. You're counting too quick. The six already? Six or one, we lost. Yeah. We didn't get it. <laughs> you didn't get it. Well, at least we know. I think that's it. I think someone's getting a phone call right now, telling them to get their passports ready. They're off to the Dominican Republic. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, I'm shaking. Outside. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, you can... oh. oh, my goodness, I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> we got it! No. No. <laughs> she said that we got the job. <laughs> that's what it'll look like. How? Look at that! Now that's not Han Stanton, is it? The Palmer family are celebrating. And even though the Spellmans didn't get the job, Zach is feeling positive about his future. Debbie told me the client had rung and said that I presented myself very well. It was really, really lovely to hear. I may well find the love for it again. I'm going to go to new castings, knowing why I quit, though, but knowing what I enjoyed. While Zach's career might be looking to take off again, the Palmers have been grounded. Um, Sarah, Jamie and all the others. Yeah can't get inoculations in time for the shoot. Are you kidding me? No. I can understand it from, you know, parent point of view and all the rest of it, but no, I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, God. It's a hell of a client as well. With the job hanging in the balance, Debbie and Dawn consider their next move. OK, Jack, here we go. You, me, 
Jack's hoping his moves will impress on his first day at performing arts school. He wastes no time getting involved. And there to show support is Anna, head of the autism charity sponsoring him. This could be the first step on the ladder to the rest of his life within the performing arts world. It's going to be a great journey, I think. For Mum Tracy, seeing Jack have fun with the other kids has made the day even more special. Every dance class Jack goes to, he's the only boy. He keeps on saying to me, you keep telling me, Mummy, that boys dance, but I never see any boys in the classes. So for him here, with so many boys, I think that's really going to be uplifting for him. I think we're going to need one between two. And pass it on. I don't have a close friend at all. I've never had a close friend. He's had a tough time this past year, me homeschooling him. Are you having a good time? He's dying for someone just to be a kid with. I don't know what is going to happen in Jack's future. I think there's going to be lots of challenges, but Jack's dream is performing arts. I do believe if he really wants this, he will get it. I believe his dreams will come true. You need to hold my hand. In a newsagent in Kent, something big is about to happen. Where's the Girl Talk magazine? I Mia's modelling debut has hit the shelves. OK. Who's in it? Me. Mia! Can we have a look, then? Come on. Come on! See ya. Yeah, it's me! What are you doing at the magazine? Sell up cars. I'm the model. Come open this, you open it. Come on, you're coming in. So. Uh, no. <laughs> Quite good, aren't they? Do you like them? Yeah. What was the best it. bit? Was it the water pistol? Yes. Yeah. What you got? Oh, Pickle, I'm so proud of you. Very proud, Dad. She's proved to many people that she can do it. So jealous. I'm going to show your friend. Yes. Yes. And my teachers. And your teachers. I'm very proud of Mia. She makes me proud every day. But as long as Mia's happy doing this, then I'll support her all the way. So if we get another job, you're going to do it? Yes. Yeah? Look, you're going to be famous. Can we turn the pace? Leave off. <sighs> All right, no worries. We'll get there in the end. After nearly losing out on the Caribbean dream job, okay. Busy Kids has worked to keep the client on side. Sure, bye. Go on. <sighs> um, thinking about going with a second family. Really? Yes. Yes, yes. Done it. Yeah, yeah. With the Palmers unable to make the trip. Well, that's not normal. Oh. What is that? <laughs> it means a lucky break for the Blackmans. Look at, the camera, Look at me, buddy. Yeah. I'm so exciting. Woo! Here to enjoy ourselves, but you're being paid. This is a job. A bit of a holiday, a bit of a job. But yeah, we're hoping it'll be a bit more holiday than job. <laughs> <laughs> The photo shoot will involve sea, sand, and Cirque du Soleil. Oh! Is that you happy about that? Go, Susan! Feel that since we arrived, I'm absolutely 300% sure that this is the best, best match for the, for the brand. Yeah! I think these are the ones that kind of think, 
yeah, now we know why we signed them up for it, you know. I know some people get kind of like, oh, the modelling and, you know, you know, overexposure of the children. But no, look at this, it's genuine fun. Uh, yeah, it's a job, but they're getting to do things they would never normally get to do. So it's how you create today? memories. <laughs> As long as you go into this industry open-minded and know exactly what you're getting into, then the rewards can be great. Look at you, Bobby! And I'm not talking financial rewards. It's experiences, life experiences. There's some sacrifice. It's hard work. Oh, Mum, that's me! But the thrill I get seeing one of my children on telly. I beam with pride. So what a parent must feel. They're all the things that make the job worth it. <laughs> Thanks for watching Nature. Make sure you subscribe for more modern parenting.